Here's a nice little tutorial just to show how easy it is to attach the property of one thing to another and create a nice simple effect. In this case, a simple text effect. So I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in the word alien. And um, I'm going to do something not exactly the same, but in the kind of style of the original alien kind of title sequence. Uh, just a very slow kind of fade with a bit of blur. So there's my text and I'm just going to go to my align window and use my little align tools here to pop it in the center of the screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is go to my, open up my text menu and where it says animate. First I'm going to animate the tracking. Okay, so I'm going to spread it out across the screen to begin with like so, push it to the edges and add a keyframe. And then I'm going to come forward, maybe about five seconds, bring that back to zero. Okay, so we've got a nice slow text animation. And it is just catching up, a little spinny wheel of death. There we go. Okay. All well and good, but what I want to add some blur to that. So what I'm going to do is go to animate, blur. Now I could simply add some keyframes for blur and then uh, just keyframe that. But there's an actual really simple way to connect the blur to the tracking. So I'm just going to alt click on the stopwatch for blur. There we go. And just pick whip the exp expression there to the tracking amount. And then click outside the box to close it up. And there we've got a very nice simple, the blur is taking its value from the text, for, uh, take its value from the tracking of the text. So the less we track, the less blur we have. And again, nice and simple and quick and effective. And that's a very quick After Effects tutorial. I thank you all.